Once again, another update from Amazon. My 4K Fire Stick is running Fire OS 6.2.7.1. They really have been releasing a lot of updates recently. Now, unfortunately, with this latest update, it's actually broken the custom launcher. I've already received a couple of comments and emails about this. So now, for example, when I press the home key, we can see I'm stuck in the stock launcher. Now, in case you're wondering, what's the big deal about a custom launcher? Well, from Amazon's point of view, when you do use the stock launcher, as we can see in the top here, they can basically show you all of their sponsored or their promoted content. So these are some of the adverts and the sponsored content they want you to see. If I scroll down, and we have this entire row of sponsored content. Now, of course, when you use a custom launcher, we don't see any of these adverts, no promoted content, no sponsored content, and we can basically use the device exactly how we like it. And that's probably why they've blocked that process. I then started thinking, are Amazon actually watching my videos and then blocking all of the things that I find? Well, I know it sounds really far-fetched, but I only found out a few days ago that Nvidia, as in the company that make Nvidia Shield, they actually used my tutorial that I wrote on Reddit and then created an official Nvidia article based on my tutorial so who knows maybe Amazon are watching and Amazon if you are we love your products we love the 4k fire stick but please don't shove this sponsored content down our throats and if we like to change the launcher or you know tweak our devices don't make that so difficult for us because ultimately we are your customer. Okay, so with all of that being said, the rest of you, please take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to get the custom launcher working once again on the latest 4K Fire Stick, even with the latest update, the first thing you're going to do is open up Downloader and navigate to my website. When you get to my site, let's go over to the hamburger menu and let's go to tutorials because there is a dedicated tutorial on how you can fix the launcher on the latest update. So let's open that up now. And here is the latest tutorial. Let's scroll down. Now in terms of what to download, there's going to be two types of people here. The first type have never installed any kind of custom launcher. They're completely new to this and they want to get it working. Now for you, you need to install the Fire TV settings, the accessibility manager, and then one of these custom launchers like either Leanback or Wolf Launcher, which is one I actually recommend. Now the rest of you who already had a custom launcher working before, but all of a sudden now it stopped working. The only thing you need to download is the new accessibility manager. Now, now this application has been written by Sweenwolf and that's the same developer who wrote the Dubload tool. So a great developer and I'm really impressed with his work. Now this application that he's written is specifically designed to give that permission, the accessibility permission to any application that's installed on your device. So whether that's the Fire TV settings or even any desk, any application that needs a permission, you can now use the Accessibility Manager to grant that permission. Now my device, because I already had a custom launcher working, which was then broken by the Amazon update, the only thing I need to download is number two. It's the second one. And I guess that's going to be same for most of you. So let's click on that. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. And of course, guys, my Fire OS 5 owners, I haven't forgotten about you. I'm actually working on a video on how you can also fix this issue on your older second generation Fire TV or Fire TV stick. The older Fire OS 5 devices, I'm currently working on a fix for that. So do leave me a comment below if you're still rocking one of those older devices. Okay, let's click on install. Let's click on done. Let's press the home key. Let's go to the apps library. Let's go to the bottom of this list by pressing left. And there is the new accessibility manager. Now, when you start this application for the first time, it's going to make an ADB connection to itself. So you'll have to authorize that prompt. If you don't see that prompt for whatever reason, all you need to do is just turn off your ADB debugging for a couple of seconds, turn them back on, then start this application again. So let's start it now and let's see if we see that prompt the first time. Let's open that up. Give that a second. So that's the prompt that you must see if this process is going to work. Let's click on always allow, click on okay. Let's give that a second and here it is guys. So let me just move my head out the way and here is the accessibility manager guys. So this application is going to open up a world of possibilities because on normal Android boxes, you have direct access to the accessibility settings, which is why so many programs work on normal Android boxes, but they just don't work on a Fire Stick because those accessibility settings are just not available. 
until today. So with this application, we can now individually grant those permissions to whichever application is installed on our device. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the service and start that service. That's now started. And in my case, because I'm going to use the Fire TV settings, I'm going to click on that, click on save. So what I'm saying now is grant the accessibility settings to the Fire TV settings application. Now that I've done that, I can click on save. And just like that, guys, so without even seeing the Fire TV settings, because those permissions are now granted, we can see I'm now inside my custom launcher. And how nice does that look, guys? I mean, how much better does that look compared to the stock launcher? So do give a thumbs up for that. Now, in case you're wondering what happens when I press the home key, well, because those permissions are now granted, home key, we can see we are now staying inside our custom launcher. Now, just for a test, if I do open up the Fire TV settings, so I'm hoping now the accessibility settings we can see on the top left are started. We don't need to worry about the secure permissions anymore because the accessibility manager will grant all of the permissions that your Fire Stick needs to boot up or start a custom launcher. And if I was using the Leanback launcher or any other launcher, I can now just click on this and then choose that custom launcher. And whichever launcher I select, the next time I press the home key, it will then launch that launcher for me. So let's back out of that, click on save, Let's press the home key for the last time. And that's working absolutely fine. Now, one question I get asked in pretty much every video regarding custom launchers is, how do I get nice background pictures as we can see there? And honestly, guys, it's really, really easy. Just open up Downloader, especially with the new version, we can now just go to the home screen and as I search for 4K wallpaper, click on go. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. And this should then go off and do a Google search for us and give us some links with those wallpapers. So let's get this link over here. This is wallpaperup.com. Let's try that one. And let's go for uh, let's go for this road because we are all on a journey. Scroll down, and there is a download button there. Click on that, and I should then start downloading that picture directly onto our device. Give that a second, and there it is, guys. It's now downloaded that uh, JPEG, and we can see that the folder it's gone into is the downloader folder. So once you've downloaded your custom image. Let's press the done key or we'll click on done. Press home. Let's now press the context key. Let's go to launcher settings, wallpaper, select the wallpaper. Let's go to our internal storage. And we now need to find the downloader folder because anything you download via downloader goes into this folder. There it is. And there's a new image there. Let's click on that. Give that a second. And there we have it guys. So we now have a beautiful looking wallpaper working absolutely fine on our custom launcher. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are messaging about this latest update and the fact that it has broken your custom launcher. So I do hope you like it and I will be doing a separate video for the older devices. So once again, guys, many thanks for your support and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.